Hi everyone, welcome back to the Financial Fitness Channel. My name is Ivy and this is Yang. One of the most common struggles that people have is controlling their spendings. Although you may have tried your best to limit your expenses, but somehow, somewhere at the end of the month, you still end up spending more than what you should have. So this week, we want to highlight 7 common things that people are unconsciously wasting too much money on. So let's get started. Number one would be food and drinks. According to survey, Malaysians, especially millennials, spend about 40% of their income on food. Of course, food is a necessity and it gives us energy and nutrients in our lives. But we tend to splurge on higher-end food such as cafe food, bistro, bars and so on. A meal in most cafes may cost around 30 to 40 ringgit per person. Three times a day in a month, it's about 2007 to 3006 monthly expenses. That's almost a month's salary for most individuals. And that's on food. What about the uprising trend of boba milk tea? High-end coffee and so on. An average boba milk tea costs about 650 per cup. And we are drinking at a rate that's almost two to three times a week. Not only is it bad for our health, but also causes us to have a dent in our bank accounts. The truth is we do not need to have big breakfast, chicken chop or premium foods every day of our lives. A simple home cooked food made by yourself such as like a boiled egg and toasted bread not only improves your health but saves money too. If you really need to eat out, go for cheaper options like a plate of chicken rice with iced tea that will only cost you about 10 ringgit. Number 2. Online shopping Shopping has never been easier, with all the online payments and online shopping portals so easily accessible on our phones, shopping can be done anytime, anywhere. According to the Malay Mail, 76% of Malaysians shop online at least once a month, and 82% are millennials. These uprising trends on online shopping has been putting many millennials into debt, and some even at a risk of bankruptcy. Because it is so easy to access to these shopping sites, we are using our credit card more often, and with cashbacks, rebates they occasionally have, we tend to splurge even more than we can afford. And often when we shop online, we tend to buy stuff that we don't need. Either because the item was really cheap, or you couldn't resist it, or you were just adding more items to each of the free minimum delivery. As a result, you bought tons of things online that does not even spark joy, and become useless things that accumulate inside your house. Number 3 would be credit card interest. As we've mentioned previously, with the convenience of shopping online and payment methods, we tend to spend more than we can afford. According to iMoney, 70% of Malaysians pay the minimum instead of settling their credit card balances, and many don't even pay on time. If you have a balance of 5,000 ringgit on your credit card and you're only paying a minimum of 250 ringgit in the first month, it'll take you about 5 years to settle your debt of 5,000. And in the end of the period, you will have paid an interest of around 1,400 ringgit. All in all, credit card is a payment tool that provides convenience. It's not a tool for you to spend money that you do not have. If you have a tendency to swipe your credit cards everywhere you go, try using cash on your purchases. Number four would be smartphones and gadgets. We Malaysians can't resist on keeping up with the latest technology. However, the truth is not many of us can afford to change a phone every year or every time a new model is launched. To keep up with this trend, it will cost you, and many who can't afford ends up adding more debts on their credit cards, which results in even more cost to pay in the future. Instead of blindly following the trends, think about its usability. Is it really necessary to have all of these new features in your phone? Many of us are just blindly attracted by the new fancy feature when a new model is released. But in fact, many of us do not need such features in our daily life. If your existing phone is still working fine, then why change? Number 5 would be summons. Admit it, we love to illegal park. When looking for a parking space, we will search the nearest possible spot to the entrance. Because the weather is too hot to walk in, or too dangerous, or simply we are just too lazy. And where all legal parking spaces are already taken, we would sometimes double park or even illegal park. The minimum summons is about 30. And if you speed, it will go up as high as 300. Do you really want to spend your hard-earned money this way? 
In fact, many avoid paying summons and accumulate it throughout the years. If you're lucky, you could go years without getting caught. If you're unlucky, you may end up like this guy who was reported on the news and got caught ended up paying 5000 for all the summons he had missed paying throughout the years. Number 6. Buying a car Public transport may not be a convenient travel solution for everyone. So if you need a car and you're buying a car that is outside of your budget, it will definitely put you in a financial mess. 4 out of every 10 Malaysians own one or more cars and many has resulted to bankruptcy because of car loans. The rule of thumb is the total amount of monthly loan should never exceed 30% of your monthly income and that includes car loan, housing loan, personal loan and many other loans that you may have. This is why it is very important to calculate and estimate your affordability and get a car that's within your budget. Now, if you're really getting a car, you should always consider that getting a car does not only come with car loan, it also comes with many other expenses such as car insurance, road tax, maintenance fee, petrol and you know many more. So all of this must be included in your budget as well when thinking of getting a car. Number 7. Discounts When we see the word sales at shopping malls, we are so naturally drawn to it. We may not even need to shop for anything, but yet we would still automatically walk into that shop and start picking out sales items. This is because of a misconception that most of us have. These are cheap. I should buy now and save it when I need to use it in the future. And yet these things often got forgotten or thrown away. For every promotion, you have to stop and think, is this item really necessary? For example, if you are buying 3 dozen of toilet paper for half the price each, this is definitely a great deal to get because it is a necessity that you will use it on a daily basis. On the other hand, like a deal for a treadmill with an 80% discount, although it may seem a great deal, but if you are never really into sports or have very little space at home, then this may not be a good deal for you. In fact, you are just wasting money buying another rarely used item. Now, being aware is easy but taking action on it is not. We're not asking you to constrain yourself all the time. We understand that sometimes we just want to shop for pleasure. But just be mindful on how you spend your money. Practice having a habit of making wise purchases rather than impulse buying. Always follow the 50, 30, 20 rule and you should be fine. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to learn how to be more financially fit, do follow our Facebook page or follow me at my YouTube channel called Ivy's Notebook. Till next time, bye! bye.